Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So a very quick update today, and that's simply that there is a new version of Gold Hen that just dropped. This is Gold Hen version 2.2.5b2, which was just released. Uh, Chameleon is pointing folks towards the Ko-Fi page. And if you go to the Ko-Fi page here, obviously Sistro is asking if there's any donations that he would gladly accept those. And I believe what you would get would be just the raw dot bin file. But that is absolutely okay because there is another method. But before we go over that, I wanted to say that in this version, there is a new game overlay option. So here you can enable, disable frames per second counter on your games. And again, special thanks to Sistro and Illusion this time which Illusion is another uh, great developer that is in the scene that does a lot of the different types of game patches that we've currently had for things like 60 FPS and so forth. He also has made patches that lets you remove some of the title credits and so forth. Anyway, definitely worth checking out his site as well. So it basically shows that there's a game overlay and you enabled the FPS counter and then you show the FPS counter with these two checkboxes. So again, you can obviously get this through going to the Ko-Fi page and donating here, or Chameleon and team has offered this up as part of a website that you can go to. So if you head over to Chameleon's site, which is kmeps4.site, then you can try out the brand new Gold Hen version 2.2.5 v2 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my PlayStation 4 and we're going to give this a shot. Okay, so back over on the PlayStation 4, we are just going to test it by going to Chameleon's site. Now, obviously, if you donate, you can also get access to the bin file if you would like to maybe put that on an ESP32-S2, etc. But we're just going to run it right off of his site here. So we're just going to go to kmeps4.site and we're going to go to the Chameleon 900 AIO host and we're going to click on that. And at this point, it will go ahead and it'll do things like installing the offline cache. Now the cache has been added successfully. And we're just going to take the very top one here because this is the only one that actually has the beta in it. So we're going to select auto method here. Okay, so there is the not enough free system memory. So I'm just going to go ahead and press OK here. And I've got my USB drive ready. OK, my USB has been inserted. OK, now it's been pulled back out. And I'm going to press OK here. And we're going to go to the Gold Hen 2.2.5b2. Okay, there it is. It is loaded. Okay, so it's going to go ahead and turn on the FTP port and the bin loader. We'll use the nice little shortcut to Gold Hen to get to the settings. So the first thing we'll do is we'll head down to about, we're going to look at the change log here. So I covered obviously all of these previous versions. I will put a couple of links in the show notes below for 2.2.4 as well as 2.2.3. And so for 2.2.5, we got the FPS counter. So I'm gonna hit the back button here and we'll hit back again. And we're gonna to go to game overlay and there it is, enable FPS counter. So we've got it enabled. Now, once we enable it, we will need to show the FPS counter. So I'm gonna turn that on as well. I'm gonna hit back. And now we should go ahead and try out a game. So let's go into Elden Ring. 
I just love that title screen, even though I really don't play this game. And up at the top, you can see it does say FPS. And so it's showing right there. It's running at about 60 and then 58. So it looks like the frames per second counter starts pretty much immediately. So let's go ahead and let's get into the game. I'll probably skip ahead until I'm inside of a game from right here. Here I am. I'm in the stranded graveyard. Now, I will let you know that I am currently running a PlayStation 4 Fat, at least on this machine, which is what I use for my tutorials. Anyway, so it's not going to have a super high FPS. This isn't like a pro, for example. So let's go through maybe a fog area a little bit. So we're down to about 50, 45. Okay, so anyway, pretty cool. At least that kind of shows you that you can turn on frames per second. So let's try it maybe over here in another title. And let's try this in maybe a PlayStation 2 title. Okay, so very awesome. So even in a PlayStation 2 title, which has been repackaged, uh, you still have that ability to get a frames per second counter up on there. So anyway, I think that's pretty cool. And let's just try a homebrew application real quick. So even in a homebrew application, it also shows the frames per second. Let's maybe try one of the system apps that comes with the PlayStation. So let's go to the media player here. And so this is obviously one of the standard apps that comes with the PlayStation. And well, I don't see it on here. Maybe we'll try something else. We'll just go maybe to a browser here. Okay, so like for example, in a browser, it's not going to show anything there. So here I'm inside of Orbis. Orbis obviously has the frames per second that is showing up. I did notice that when I went into Apollo, for some reason for this homebrew application, it does not have the frames per second counter. So I'll also check this one over here, which is just a gold hen cheat manager. This one also doesn't have it as well. And we'll maybe try a little bit of emulation here. Now, this is emulation using basically PlayStation 2, which is going to emulate some other retro consoles. Emulators, and we'll just pick an NES one here. We're going to load content, and we'll select Mario Kart. So it doesn't show the frames per second on some of these emulated games. And so that's going to do it for this one, folks. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!